Why did the turkey join the band? Because it had the drumsticks. Uh, where are we up to? PPE2, UK Economic Development. If you've got the uh, exam paper in front of you, it would be beneficial for this one. All right, then. Uh, this question was answered really poorly, actually, um, in the PPE, and it should be an easy two mark because it's calculating a uh, mean. So a little look then. Using figure eight, which means you're obviously going to use figure. Calculate the mean, right? Mean means you're going to add all of the individual uh, elements up and divide them by the number of elements. In this case, you're going to divide them by nine. Two marks. So you get one mark for the working out and one mark for the actual answer. Right. In terms of the fact that this is a cost question, you have to make sure that you put your answer into pounds and pennies. So if you end up writing as an answer, uh, I don't know, or make up an answer, seven hundred and two pounds and three seven three pence. That obviously doesn't make sense because you could only have two p at the two numbers at the end. So in this answer, well, by the way, I should also tell you you can take a calculator into the exam because I've just worked this out now. The answer came up on my calculator as four eight four point seven 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 eight. Now obviously four hundred eighty four pounds makes sense, but you cannot have seven 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 eight pence that doesn't make sense what you have to do is round the number and obviously because we can have two figures after it 77777 would be 484 pounds and 78 pence okay you can't round it down a lot of you rounded it to 484 pounds 70 although it's closer to um, or sorry, although it shows a 7 in there, 77, you cannot round down, you must round up. So the exam board actually would have accepted £484.78, £484.80, or actually £485. So you've got to make sure you round up. What I would advise you to do is in the exam, make sure your calculator is set to two decimal places. Right, the nine marker. Let's see what we're going to have to do on this nine marker. I wonder if we'll have to make a judgment. Let's all find out together. Assess, which means... Make a judgment, which didn't come up there. That's annoying. Assess the importance. Ah, oh, there it is. Uh, assess means make a judgment. You've got to weigh it up. How big or how small, how long term, how short term, how national, how local. Importance there is why it came up second. Now I can read it again. Um... Because it's an importance question, we need to weigh up how big or small the importance is, how long term or short term the importance is. But we are going to have to make a judgment on this nine marker. Transport improvements. Some of you missed the word improvements here because you weren't highlighting the keywords of the question. So it's got to be an actual improvement to the UK economy. Nine marks. There's our nine mark structure. You're going to answer the question in your first sentence. You're going to write two peelies and you're going to give an overall conclusion at the end. Peely, remember, point, evidence, explain, link, and if you can, evaluation. It must be an improvement to transport. Right then, here are my three intros. Intro one, transport improvements are crucially important to the UK economy. That is a good introductory sentence because I have made a judgment. I have said it is crucially important to the UK economy. Intro two, transport improvements in the UK have minimal importance to the UK economy. Again, I have made a judgment. It is a good introduction. Even if I actually disagree with that sentence, um, it's correct and the examiner must actually give you the mark for it. Intro three, the Mabel. Transport improvements can be very important to some regions of the UK, however far less so for others. What I've done there is twisted the question to be what I want it to be. I've said that in some places it's important and in others it is not. That it's still a judgment, it's still an assessment, it is a Mabel level one because we're twisting the question. Why are these good introductions? Well, the reason why is that they answer the question. They show judgment. This is what your introductions should do. One sentence to answer the question. Peel number one then, let's get into this one. Transport improvements have the potential to reduce the north-south divide in the UK economy. Remember when we studied this back in year 10, that the north of the uh, UK, north of England particularly, is considered far poorer than the south, and we've got lots of uh, magic fives there to remember. Your five times 
um, more likely to die of uh, coronary heart disease in the north than the south. You are five times more likely to um, go to university if you grew up in the south them than the north there's loads and loads of them go back to your previous notes lots of five times five times five times okay evidence oh actually i'll go back to the point um in terms of the other one you earn one fifth more working in the south than the north evidence okay then we need to be a transport improvement the planned hs2 rail link from london to northern city such as leeds could reduce travel time by up to 35 percent now we so far haven't told me how important this is okay so let's have a little look if we're going to do it now the faster travel for the explanation the faster travel means people living in the north can still commute to london but actually crucially will now be actually able to stay a living in the north for example leeds that means they bring the spending power back from london remember that one fifth higher earnings that i mentioned previously that therefore means more businesses in leeds will earn more money it allows them to reinvest in their business and as a result of this the local economy of leeds benefits I've got restaurants there as a great example. People with disposable income will spend it in like luxury situations, cinema, restaurants, swimming pools, and it all means the economy of Leeds is strengthened. What does this mean? This shows how transport improvements could have a massive importance for the poorer North and the UK economy as a whole. There's our link back to the question. That's why the link is so crucial, because everything up to that point hasn't really told me if it's important or not we haven't answered the question there's the link massive importance for people of the north uh, and the uk economy as a whole and the reason why i say that is the government the uk government would need to make less investments in northern cities if actually people were spending money in the northern cities themselves but it's a nine marker let's give the examiner some evaluation let's give him something to go and weigh up something to show more of a judgment However, the spiralling cost of the project, £60 billion, means that, well that's an estimate at the moment, it could be up to £100 billion by the end, means that in the short term, the significance of HS2 economically, so remember we're linking the question in terms of the economy, could be a negative because the money being spent on this train line cannot be invested in other infrastructure. So this is real top draw, top level stuff here, where we're saying because HS2 is costing so much money, that means there's less money for us to spend in any other infrastructure you wanted to name, schools and hospitals, whatever it might be. That therefore, in terms of the economy, is a real negative potential because less money invested in schools, as you know, will mean less kids can read and write in the future, uh, to a high level anyway, and that therefore means uh, we'll have potentially less highly skilled tax paying people in the future. So there's your Peely number one. It's quite a long peel that one, but it is a really top draw one to show the examiner judgment as well as evaluation. Peely number two, a little bit of a shorter one here. Remember in geography, if you get stuck, go local. Okay, you will know Cornwall better than the examiner. I absolutely guarantee you that it's one of the big advantages of doing your gcse geography here is that your local knowledge will be superior to the examiner if i'm being honest if you were doing this in birmingham or london or liverpool actually the examiner's knowledge might be better because it's going to be in a textbook and he can check in cornwall we're going to know these specifics so in addition other peripheral areas such as cornwall can benefit from transport improvements i'm clearly arguing about the question i'm clearly answering the question here in 2017, the A30 widening was completed at Temple near Bodmin Moor. This improvement will reduce congestion coming into the duchy. Now, just before I go on, Cornwall is not a county, it's a duchy. It might be um, pernickety, but it is a duchy. When do tourists come? They generally come on bank holiday weekends as well as the summer holidays. Okay, that's fine. What will that mean? Well, the tourists will arrive faster and be more inclined to visit, thus spending more money into the duchy. Now, what that means is, in the past, people from, I don't know, Birmingham, Leeds, Liverpool, may have been put off coming to Cornwall on the grounds that the travel down there would be motorways all the way to Exeter, and then beyond that point, the A30, obviously only a dual carriageway, would be slower transport. When we got to Temple, those of you um, who 
have grown up with this, living in Cornwall for a while, will know this. It went, used to go to a single track and would be incredible delays during the summer. It would often take you from Temple uh, over an hour to get back from St. Austell in the summer holidays. As a result, that will put tourists off because they will see that on the news. They will hear from friends who travel down and as a result, they are unlikely to visit. But if you can dual carriageway that section as well, and it means less congestion, more people will visit in the future. So what does that mean in a link here? That could mean that in a similar fashion to the HS2 project, if more money's earned in Cornwall, then the government needs to put less investment into Cornwall, therefore um, saving the national government money, obviously linking to the economy there. The tax income will increase in Cornwall. It means that the national government has to spend less money here. That's good for the economy as a whole. Now, the evaluation here, let's be honest, we are only talking about Cornwall. So our evaluation is, from a national perspective, the A30 widening has real minimal impact. Okay, People living in Leeds and Liverpool and Brighton and Skegness don't really care about the A30 widening beyond a visit for a weekend once a year or maybe once a decade. The argument here is that actually, in terms of the value to the UK economy, if the Cornish road is better... The only groups of people it might impact are other tourist locations like Brighton or Bournemouth, as an example, because actually they may be more inclined to go to Cornwall rather than Brighton and Bournemouth now, which means rather than improve the UK economy, actually you're just moving where the money's being spent. So again, it's tricky evaluation, but real, real top level evaluation that we can use on any transport question. So what's our conclusion? The conclusion make a judgment answer the question the peripheral at peripheral which means on the outside areas of the uk e.g your northern uk cities e.g cornwall can have a huge benefit from transport improvements however the initial cost can actually damage the uk economy in the short term amazing judgment there you've actually shown the evaluation there as well that is going to be a nine out of nine answer all day long come and see us down in h8 uh, with this nine marker, any of the nine markers, we can happily sit down together over a 30 minute break period and just plan out how we would answer every nine marker that will come up. I'll reward the people who have continued listening to the end with another terrible joke. Let's find one a second. Um, oh, God. What do elves call it when Father Christmas claps his hands at the end of a play? Santa Claus. See you later. <laughs>